Okay, what's up you guys? So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I got this pre-recorded. It's not live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm going to do a little drawing of, uh, I had a choice between, I was thinking about doing, uh, drawing Jean Grey or, uh, Morgan from Darkstalkers. But, you know, giving the time that I have, you know, I'm not too familiar with Morgan, but I am a little bit familiar with Jean Grey, so I'm going to go ahead and work on Jean Grey today. Nothing too fancy or uh, not going to do too much, just going to try to do a little bit. And, um, you know, see how much I can get done within this hour from on my lunch break. I'm going to try to do more stuff like this, too. Hour-long drawings that are like, uh, hold on a second, I'm getting a little bit of a... Okay. Okay. All right. So first thing I'm doing it right now, I'm just doing my little um, energy line, how I want the body to flow. You know, I do that little stroke right there. This paper is kind of, I don't know. It's not, it's wobbly. It's, it's weird. It's got kind of like a rippling thing in it. So it's not the best paper. I can say I don't, I don't think it's like the best paper. It's good for a. It's good to actually use for little sketches and you know idea sketches, but nothing for anything final. So what I did was I did that little energy line where which way I want the body to move. This is going to be like the torso, right? This is torso and waist area okay so so like I said I'm gonna be drawing Jean Grey and I start differently you know when I do this type of stuff I start like normal and this, this has always been kind of how it was since I was a kid most artists would start with the face and then work down or whatever or they'll start with doing a structure you know designing the uh the character and then once they get the, the the kind of mannequin look that they want then they'll uh go ahead and just immediately just start working in the face and i get that you know i i get that i normally when i was a kid all i used to do was just uh what i should say when i was a kid i should say when i was in high school what i would do is i would draw from the dragon ball z playing cards and during that, I would draw, um, that's pretty much where I learned, where I kind of like picked up a lot of the, uh, my artwork from style-wise or what really interested me, I should say, and in art was all the, uh, the anime stuff like, uh, Astro Boy and Lupin the Third, um, Sailor Moon. Whole bunch of stuff so let's see let's go ahead and I'm gonna put her hand up you know like she's doing the psychic thing I'm gonna put touch my hand in my head and I'm gonna get 12 times the abilities that I normally have it helps me focus I don't know I don't know why they do that I guess it's just like a really cool looking pose because they look like they're saluting I don't know but anyway, yeah, so I would I would just start like from the waist, really. And then I would work my way up and then I'd work my way down. So I would draw like like when I was when I especially when I was copying from the cards. Um that's how that's pretty much how I would do my artwork. It was it was copy and then I would draw from the waist and then up. So I don't know. 
I mean, it helped, but then it didn't really, I wasn't like, look, it didn't really help me as far as proportion wise. And, um, because, well, proportion wise, due to the fact that I was drawing from the waist, I was drawing everything from the waist first. And I wasn't really paying attention to, uh, size of the legs or size of the hands compared to the head. I was just trying to make it look exactly like as much as I make it look like the picture as much as I could. And um, that was what I would do. But then over time, you know, I started doing these mannequin styles first. And then I guess naturally, kind of like in a natural way, I kind of just gravitated just to doing the face first, like most artists would do. <laughs> Nowadays, anyway. Still, some artists would just do like, you know, draw a hand over here and then they'll have the picture like already they see this picture on the page without drawing anything. And they'll just say, OK, well, this is what I want to stand out the best. And then they'll draw like the hand, you know, like the hand first or or draw the a foot kicking or something like that. Um, most of the time when I do this type of stuff, it's more of a <clears throat> I'm not really thinking about what I want to stand out the most. I'm just thinking about am I getting it? Am I representing it the best way as far as you know, anatomy is concerned. And even though, you know, when we're drawing, we don't have to really stick too much to anatomy unless we're really going for that uh, realistic proportion wise. But, you know, it's if I'm if I'm getting the best representation, if I'm drawing it the best way that I can represent it in my style. Yeah, so the forearm widens, tapers up at the wrist, tapers in, right? Okay, so I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so she's got her hand up, so that shoulder should be a little up too, right? And then we're gonna put that breast, we're gonna lift that up a bit. Rib cage drops down. Now here we have body shape. Rib cage, bam, bam. Stomach, a little gap where all the guts go. Then we have the butt. Thigh tapers in. Get your knee. We're going to cut her off at the knee. We're not going to do that. We're not going to go into that. Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing like a classic Jean Grey. You know, not the uh, Phoenix, not Dark Phoenix or anything like that. Just how she used to look in the 90s cartoon. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on trying to get uh, a good representation of. <clears throat> okay, so now here's the head. I'm going to put the eyes on the center line. Normally that's where the eyebrows would go, but I want her to be a little bit wider of a face, have a little bit of a wider face, so, you can, so I can get the features a little bit better. So I'm just going to draw the eyes basically on that line. Okay. Then I'll put the eyebrows just above it. Now for me with women, it's really tricky for me to do this because it's all about well, how I consider it, it's all about that nose area, right? So she's facing 
her head is like looking over towards her left shoulder. So that that nose is going to get like a little bit of a definitional. It doesn't really, I don't, you know, it may not need it. Let's go ahead and try some things, okay? All right, so normally I would put like a, a little bridge, a line representing the bridge of the nose right there. Okay, I would normally do that. I'll widen this eyes a little bit. Give me a second. And then I would do like the under shade, nostril, nostril, bridge of the nose here. But there are ways I can do this. I'm gonna try to see which way looks the best, the way, well, you know, which way I want it to look, which way I want her to look. Cause Jean does have like, kind of like a specific look compared to what artists you draw. There's a lot of artists that have drawn Jean Grey, but for the most part, Jean Grey has like this recognizable look. And it's not just from her, from her, uh, costume or anything like that i think it's most artists kind of try to keep jean in a representational way of how she used to look you know they we all have our creative uh take on that but for the most part she kind of i don't know if i'm explaining it right but she kind of looks the same you know when artists draw her but you can tell that they're a different artist is drawing her okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do what kind of lighting. I'm gonna do lighting coming from this side to this side. So this part of her face is gonna be lit up, right? This part of her body is gonna be lit up a little bit, a little bit of light right here. This light, all this side is gonna catch light, right? Okay. So I'm going to try to continue on with this. So with that, with the light hitting on that side. I guess I won't need to draw the bridge line of the nose. Okay. But I will need to draw the shadow on the opposite side. Okay. Now, to, it, depending on what type, how you see it, because noses are different, everybody has a different nose, right? And go deep in. Or you can go shallow with a wider type of bridge. You narrow it or go wide. I'm just like testing right now. Just looking and let me see if I can get a little bit closer so you can see like that what I'm talking about. And this is just me. I'm actually um, just showing you guys what, I would, what I'm thinking about. Right, so I can do a bigger bridge here. Right, something like that, or then I or I can bring it in more. Now that ultimately would make her face look like it's turned more. I think I like that. Okay, let's continue on with that. Yeah. All right. And again, I'll post this up on my um, my uh, Instagram page, Mister. That's M R Gregory Crazed underscore artist. So you guys can kind of check it out when it's completed. Okay. So actually, she has kind of a longer look. It looks really long to me, but that's all right. I'm just gonna work with it. As it is, see if I can, with the shadows, once you guys get more used to drawing shadows, there are a lot of things that you can do to rectify any mistake just by adding a little bit of darkness around it. 
Okay. Give her a bigger lip right there. I was saying I was trying to keep in keep it into you know, like how Jane would normally look, but I don't think I'm hitting that mark. So in the with respect to the time that I have left, I'm just gonna continue on and not really focus on trying to get her to look like herself as my well. I want her to look like Jean Grey. I'm just not going to try to make her look like every other artist is Jean Grey. Okay? Okay. So we do that. Blocky hair. Very comic book, right? Real abstract hair. Kind of gives the Gives the uh, the character more character, I would say. So not everything is super smooth, or but you have differences and all that. Okay, give me a second, yeah. Okay, sorry about that, back again. All right, so, yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's give her a little bit more definition underneath the eye. You see, now that my, my pencil's dull right now, but that's okay for the beginning of it. But now that I'm getting more into the, defin the defining parts of it, I'm gonna have to start sharpening this pencil so I can get a good line. Okay. Okay, so now I got a pretty good, I'm happy with what's look, what, I, what it looks like right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and start uh, making her in her costume. First, time for a little sharpening. Right? Okay. Okay, so she has this, um, well, that's like 90s, straight up 90s style hair, right? And she's got like this gambit type of face harness. I don't know what to call it, really. It looks, <laughs> it looks pretty wicked but you know it's kind of silly now that I think about it I like the uh, newer version where she's lost this kind of headgear but I'm gonna use it anyway because it's I'm, do, I'm going for the 90s look you know okay so it looks like I have about 30 minutes left. I think I could get this a good ways of the done in 30 minutes. I think I'm going to definitely try. Okay, so now I'm looking at this old school picture of her and trying to dissect how her costume is. And she has like these, this, uh, Damn, that looks, that's looking really weird right now. Okay, let's do...
That looks more proportionate, right? I hope so. I don't have a whole lot of time to change it, so I'm going to go ahead and... I got about like 30 minutes left, so I'm just going to continue on. gonna change her hair just a bit you know I'm not gonna give her th that kind of mullety look just gonna change it just a little bit so mask type kind of encompasses her entire head. It leaves some space for the ear. I guess it would show a little bit on the side. She's got this shoulder, shoulder pad thing. I mean, the costume is back in the 90s. Man, tell you what, those things <laughs> are crazy. Looking. Now that I think about it, now that I redraw these st this type of stuff, and I'm like really thinking about the mechanics of the costume, it's like, wow, these things are almost impractical. Some of the costumes. Jeans is just like a crazy look. I guess it has some practicality to, for her stuff. Maybe those shoulder blades, you know, block bullets. I don't know. But she doesn't really need them because she has what? Psychic abilities, telekinetic abilities that can... Deflect those bullets, right? I mean, she may not be... Magneto strong with her abilities without the Dark Phoenix or without being able to control them like like that but I'm pretty sure she can stop a few bullets and if not they'll just bounce off of those shoulder pads one would assume So I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to clean this up, but I am going to have, I think I am going to be able to at least get the costume done, or in, I should say. I think I have enough time for that. Yeah, I am a slow, slow drawer. I try to trying to get my speed up to, to a good point where I can do this type of stuff in under an hour. But that takes time and practice and I have a job and other responsibilities. So I can't, I'll throw myself into the art all the time, even though I try. So I think that's right lights shining over here let's go ahead and do something about that pad right there that's kind of tripping me up a bit gonna make that breast a little bigger and round this off a little more because you know she's turned this way right she's she's like turned she's turning towards us but her shoulder's still back right it's still kind of like in a receding type of form so draw that curve right there to make it look like it's even it's it's 
face the right way. Right? Yeah, it kind of looks a little, little off, but it's all right. This is a quick Jean Grey drawing, sketch, piece, whatever. I guess that's like black and blue, right? Her, her little, the way that that costume is, right? It's like black and blue. So, and the way I do things, when I draw, I like to kind of try to take every piece, an individual piece of like the muscle or whatever, whatever will be showing. And I try to treat it as its own separate entity. So when I do like the neck muscle right here, I'll treat that like it's separate and I'll have a, I'll do shadowing, cast shadows and all that. And then when I start doing the other things that would overlap on that, I don't know, it just really helps me to maintain my focus as far as what, how I want my lighting to go. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to do a little bit of a heavier line weight underneath the breast here because the light is shining this way, right? It's coming from this side, but her breast goes down, right? So light is only hitting at a certain point, but we also want to separate it from the body. We want it to give a little bit of separation from it, right? You guys don't have to agree with me on that one. I s Plenty of different ways to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna do this X here. Give her that insignia, that X-Man logo. It's funny nowadays. If, <laughs> I was thinking like, well, nowadays the political correctness for the X Men would be the X people. <laughs> yeah, I've been listening to too much Jordan Peterson and Ben Shapiro. It's funny. Okay, so lights hitting here. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna darken in this side of her chest. Keep this collarbone kind of in light, right? Let's separate this. We'll keep a nice little sliver of light here. Stating, hey, there's something there. All right, we'll do the lights hitting here. So there will be light catching here, but it, for the most part, it's cutting off this part of her, her neck. Okay. And so right now I'm going to do is I'm just going to put more of the detail of her costume in before I go forward with the rendering. Okay, so she's got that little wrist gauntlet thing. Okay, so from what I count, it's going down to like about the 
base of her forearm, like the very beginning of her forearm, right before it hits the elbow. So those things will get larger up to his point. And I have one, two, three. So three sec three com three sectional pieces of that forearm gauntlet thing. In the 90s version of her co costume. The cartoon version, the one that uh was on Fox back in the 90s. One of my favorite cartoons that I <laughs> never really missed. I always loved that show. But they ended it on such a weird one. You know, they ended it so weird. It was just like a Christmas episode and that was it. I was so disappointed the way that they, they stopped it. A little bit of comic book style feathering or hatching. But you know, technically, I guess I don't really need to do that. I mean, the light's hitting pretty much all over there. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. Now I have to do something with this side of her face. <sighs> Hopefully I don't mess it up. I just need to give her more of a chin, a jawline, you know? Because she has a jaw. <laughs> so I'm going to square that jaw up a bit, but not too harshly. I don't want her looking like Gambit. Okay, so Okay, so that is pretty much she's pretty much done. <laughs> she doesn't have too much left to do. I just gotta do the belt here, right? Okay, and that belt is kind of, actually that belt is high up on her waist. Wow. That belt is basically at her rib cage area. Like where it bottoms, where her rib cage bottoms out. She's got the Instagram selfie belt style. Now normally what I would do is I would take my kneaded eraser and I would roll it up like this and get it like that and then I would just go over this and just roll over it like like that. I'll just roll over it. This would lighten it and it would take away a lot of the um, the little stray marks that I put down. And then I would just, then afterwards I would just go back in and like really complete it. But I'm running low on time, so I only have like 15 minutes. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna give her a little bit of that uh, real wavy ponytail. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, and this would have shadow. And actually this whole arm would be in shadow here. We're just gonna do that. We're just gonna put that whole arm. Yeah, for the most part it would be in shadow, like the back. Yeah, like the top would be in a bit of a shadowy way. Have a little bit of a cast shadow. This would have some shadow over here. This head would cast a shadow over her uh, that little shoulder pad thing. And since it's kind of bulgy, like a little bit of that shoulder pad would catch light. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go ahead and drop some hatch marks in there. Giving it the feel that it's darkening, that it's got some type of gradient change. Now, you, see, you don't have to do this with pencil because you have a pencil, you can actually actually do a gradient change. But if I was to ink this, which I kind of keep in mind like, oh, if I'm going to ink this, I typically uh, do the, I typically do the, the hatch marks. Okay, so that would be in a full shadow. This is a cast shadow. In the way that the light's hitting. Cast this out some more. And this here is going to be our core shadow for the black suit and then we're going to actually because light bounces right she's not just encased in darkness there's light bouncing somewhere so we're going to actually leave a bit of this breast have a little bit of an outline And this is catching light, but what we're going to do, since it's, it's, it's a, still like a dark suit and we're not really going to, uh, well I'm not, I should say, I'm not really going to ink this or anything like that, or do any blue or to give like a highlighted, if some highlighted information. I'm just going to do that. I'm gonna keep it dark, but just Just not going to make it black, black, as dark as it can be. We'll have a little bit of light here. And this is like a silhouetted format. Silhouette right there, so. Okay. So, so that's about 40 minutes. It's taking forever. Sorry, guys.
Okay, and she has, okay, so, okay, let's do this. Okay, so this arm is down, but it's coming forward a little bit. So we're, we can still do a cast like it's receding back by doing that up curve, that up curve right there. Okay, we'll just drop this down right here. And we'll do the thumb here. Fingers. Let's, let's do this. Let's raise that hand up a bit. Let's. let's have this finger looking like it's coming out towards us. And we'll just go ahead and throw up the, end, the middle finger. <laughs> She's not flipping the bird. She's just throwing it up a bit. Oh, I guess I could do that too. Yeah, I guess that works. Okay. And then we'll do that the way Pursuit is. Kind of does that, right? Okay, so that a little wider. Let's go ahead and bring this up here. I'm gonna bring this. Like that. So that arm is kind of long, but ah, I don't have the time to fix it. To go back to work in about 10 minutes. Okay, heavier line weight over here. Darken in here and this, darken this shoulder pad in a bit to show that if there, she's actually has her arm inside of it. Bicep. Erase this piece. I guess I can do this here. This line here will show a little bit of um, core shadowing. I'll just do that right there. Okay. I don't necessarily need to do anything to her torso. This Jean Grey isn't super buff or anything like that. She just mutant buff, which is her power is strong. So. Okay. So we'll do that. I'm gonna get that. That outfit is skin tight. Okay, let's get this hair going a little bit. I guess I don't really need to do too much with the hair either. She's a redhead. She doesn't need too much done with her hair. Okay, let me see about this costume real quick. Okay, so she has these um, 
what are these? These are like pockets. Pockets on the side of her her leg, right? Okay, so we'll do that was the leg or whatever. This would be where the pocket is. And we'll do this. We'll just go ahead and draw this line all the way down. Like that. This is thigh. Knee. Like I said, we're just gonna cut her off at the knee. This here. Kind of weird, but now it's time to do a little bit of separation, showing this little, little bit of a pocket. Do it by giving it some line weight. I think this is like a flap. I'm just gonna make that a flap. <laughs> Cause it's weird. It's like, are these pockets or are these just, is this just padding? What is this, what's the purpose of that? I don't know. So anyway, light hitting that, this part of her, so we can go ahead and create that shadow in that area of, the, of her leg. Okay. And one last thing, because Jean Grey isn't in her phoenix state, Right? So technically, she would have pupils. And I'll have her looking this way. Kind of looking downward. Okay, so yeah, there's a quick uh, Jean Grey, about 50 minutes worth of uh, drawing time. And I hope you guys enjoyed that process. And, you know, check out my um, my YouTube account and, and or my um, Instagram page. I have two Instagram pages. I'll post that up um, uh, when this video gets uploaded. I'll put them in the, in the uh, description. I have... The first one is Mr. Mr. is abbreviated. It's Mr. Gregory Crazed underscore artist. And then I have one that's all just for my original artwork. And then I have another one that's Mr. Uh, not sorry. My second uh, Instagram page is Gregory Crazed 
underscore fan art dedicated to just nothing but fan art of characters that were created by other fantastic artists. And um, I do all that type of stuff over there. So yeah, I got to get to work. So I will catch you guys later. And I will be having another live stream later on tonight. Uh, finishing up on a horror, on that horror drawing I did earlier. I'm not finishing up, but detailing it. So again, thank you guys for watching and I see you guys later.